Hey there, welcome to Spirit of a Handyman. Here today with Alex and Assured Construction. We are currently demoing this bathroom. We have this uh, white tile. And Alex, what's the trouble with how we're trying to demo? What do we run into here? The today? trouble on this job is that when they put um, when they put down their backer board on the floor, they used uh, mortar or an adhesive to uh, to bond that that backer board to the plywood subfloor. Now, normally it would just be well, I shouldn't say normally. Sometimes, and especially on uh, production houses, you just find it nailed down, which is easy enough to get a shingle ripper, a roofing you know tear off shovel down between those between the plywood and the backer and pop them up. Um, but in this case, that's very difficult since everything's glued together and kind of acts as one material. So we had to bring in the uh, the big demolition hammers to get in between there. And those carry a lot of risks on their own. With those, it's really easy to punch through your subfloor altogether, especially on floors like this, which is most of what you'll find in homes built in the last 30, 40 years. And this is just that particle board, that chip board. This stuff is really easy to go through, you know. Um, and older homes will probably find old pine boards which are a lot more solid and will take a lot more beating. Uh, you can still go through them, but, but these are a lot easier to get that chisel just at the wrong angle. And since there are so many chips, there's different edges and layers. If you get a chisel edge down under one layer, it's easy to just keep going right through the whole thing. And it sounds pretty obvious, just don't go through, but when the tip of your chisel is four inches underneath a piece of tile or a piece of backer, you really can't see what it's doing. You mostly have to feel it out. If your angle is just a little bit off, the way you're holding it, then we just tear right through. So, and then that means, you know, floor patching you have to do afterwards, which we can do, but we don't want to. So, anyway. All right, so Alex and I were both using these shingle rippers, and uh, after like 10 minutes, we made like, like we got four tiles up. It yeah. was awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, we're gonna take 10 minutes now with uh, two of these, what do you call them? Uh, demolition hammers. Demolition hammers! We're gonna see how much business we get done. most efficient way to rip out tile from your bathroom including taking out that uh, backer board cement board stuff so there you go that's the most efficient way that we have found to take out tile and cement board comment down below on if you have any tips or tricks let's collectively do a better job at empowering the spirit of a handyman inside all of us stay tuned for more updates from Spirit of a Handyman. He's got the spirit of a handyman. A handyman. It both exerts less energy. That one. Which is easier to use? That one. Which one are you going to use for the most of this demo job? Probably this one. Ha, 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 ha.